Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Last lesson we started drawing probability trees, which is actually a harder concept compared to what I'm about to show you now. So you should find this really easy. So the concept is this. If you have two events, event A and event B, if they are independent, then the probability of both events occurring, so probability of A and B both occurring, is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So you guys have actually already done this from drawing the tree. But just to remind you guys, let's talk about what makes two events independent. Two events are independent if the outcome of one event has no effect on the outcome of the other. So using last lesson's example, let's say event A is um, tossing a coin and getting a tail. Event B is uh, throwing a dice, a die, and getting a, uh, getting a four. Now, these two events are independent because getting a tail from a coin is going to have no effect on what you get from a die. So, if you want to find out the probability of both of these events occurring, so I should have mentioned that in the formula here, the probability of A and B both occurring is the probability of A times the probability of B. So if I want to find out the probability of, accidentally drew something here, of probability of A, actually let's write, out, write it out in words, probability of getting a tail and four, um, so that's the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So what is the probability of A? So the probability of A is a half, right? Because there are two sides on a coin. Um, to get a tail that's one out of two sides and since there are six sides on the die then the probability of getting a four is one out of six so the probability of a times the probability of b probability of a times probability of b and the answer is one over twelve now this completely matches uh, how you would do it by drawing a tree diagram. If you want to draw a tree, it'll look like this. Right, the first toss, you either get a head or a, a tail. So the probability of getting a tail is a half, half, and then you write out all the probabilities. So probability of getting a four is one out of six, not four is five out of six. Write all that out. And then you multiply along the branches, so it says we want tail and four, so it's tail times the probability of getting a four. So that's half times one over six, which is one over twelve, so it's exactly the same. But with the formula, that helps you because then you don't have to, you don't have to uh, draw a tree. Okay, let's do another example. So here's another example. Event A is getting a tail on the first toss of a coin. Uh, first coin toss, I should say. Event B is getting a head on the second coin toss. So what is the probability of both event A and B occurring? So the shorthand for that is probability of A and B. 
So that's the probability of A times the probability of B. So the probability of A um, is a half. Probability of B is also a half. So probability of A times the probability of B, so that's one fourth. So that's the answer. So yeah, event. Uh, but we usually with coins we would do probability of uh, HT, right? Getting a, a sorry TH. Getting a tail would be T. Getting a head would be H. So we just say TH. So that would be uh, half times half, which is a quarter. So that's usually um, the notation when we're talking about heads and tails. Okay, let's look at this example. Two digits are selected at random. Find the probability that the first digit is less than three and the second digit is greater than seven. So event A would be uh, the first digit. So first digit less than three. So what is the probability of A? Well, out of the 10 numbers, uh, so out of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, how many numbers are less than 3? Well, that's only 0, 1, and 2. Alright, so out of 10 numbers, there's only 3 numbers. So, probability is, uh, so the probability three numbers out of ten so the probability is three out of ten and then the probability of uh, sorry event B is second digit greater than seven so what's that probability of B is there's eight nine and ten uh, out of ten digits so that's three out of ten um, so then the answer for that is probability of A and B both occurring is probability of A times probability of B. So that's 3 out of 10 times 3 out of 10, which is 9 out of 10. Actually, that is really wrong because um, firstly, there, there's uh, not a number 10. There's only 0 to 9 so that's only 2 out of 10 2 out of 10 and then so it's 3 over 10 times 2 over 10 which is 6 over a hundred okay so yeah that's the answer 6 over a hundred if you wanna express it as a decimal it's 0 0.06 so that's the answer there okay thanks for watching guys see you next time